Verdi's Rigoletto is coming to Portsmouth, and to give audiences the authentic experience of regality and opulence, the so-called Companions of Kings will walk the stage to set the scene. Now stage superstars Sox and Melody were chosen for their outgoing nature and confidence in their new surroundings. So basically Ellen, the producer of Rigoletto, called me late autumn last year and asked if I could possibly provide two greyhounds to appear on the stage here at the King's Theatre in Southsea. And I immediately thought of Socks and Melody because they've been out in homes for a few months and they're so adapted to life in like around coffee shops and pubs that I thought nothing faces them. So they're brilliant ambassadors for us. So I called Vicky and said, how do you fancy it? <laughs> nothing phases them really. So, and the kennel dogs, although they've been brilliant today, you, you, because they've never been in a home environment, you don't know quite how they would react in this situation. Greyhounds may be thought of in more recent times as racing dogs, but historically speaking, they spent hundreds of years at the aristocracy's side, hence their role in Rigoletto. Vicky is going to take them on stage and they're just going to walk across the stage. They'll be on stage for about five minutes during the opening scene just to set the scene of the opera. They will be the Duke's um, royal uh, greyhounds. There's also a, um, an eagle, a golden eagle, going to appear in that scene as well. So it's kind of all about setting the scene for the, the opera. Today it's a sad reality for the dog breed that 8,000 greyhounds are retired from the track every year, most without a home to go to. But there's something about them which has their owners obsessed. It's funny because I say to people that come looking for dogs that there's something about them, but I can't put my finger on it. They're just, it's like they have a hold over you and you've just fallen in love with them. Um, I've had nine, I've got five at home at the moment and they're just wonderful dogs. They adapt to so many different environments. Um, <laughs> Any, all different situations, people will um, live in flats, They'll, they're quite happy, they spend most of their time asleep, um, they don't need masses of exercise, just a couple of short walks a day, um, so long as they've got a nice warm bed and nice food in their tummy, they're fine. The Greyhound Trust works to make sure as many greyhounds as possible are happily rehomed and each performance of Rigoletto gives local greyhound charities the chance to raise money in aid of this worthy cause. Sarah spoke to me because the Kings have got hold of her to say that um, they'd like two greyhounds and we both came up with the idea of Socks and Melody because they're so stunning <laughs> and they're, they're great ambassadors for the breed. Um, we've actually homed probably about three greyhounds just through Vicky homing Socks and Melody. Um, people just stop her and she hands out a business card and then they come to us and we sort them out with a, a suitable dog. Mo hopes the performance will promote adoption of the breed. If it does anything for the breed and makes them more people interested, then I'm all for it. Charles Way Palmer for That's TV.